daisies are the happiest flower, don't you think? Not my word. It's from uh, the 1990s rom-com, You've Got Mail. But I think it's true. Daisies are the happiest flower. Particularly on a Saturday morning when the har wraps St Andrews and District. Um, and we need a little bit of colour. Uh, but that said, it's not a bad day. Not a bad start to the day. It's not cold. Pleasant enough. Nice walking temperature. For me and my chum, there he is. Friend of all the world. Brewer dog. Um, so, this morning, reading my paper, um, I came across this headline. One in four wants a change of job, home or relationship. Uh, that's a headline that makes you want to read the article. So I did. And it appears that um, one of the impacts of, of lockdown is that official figures seem to suggest that a quarter are considering changes to either their job, their relationship or home. I don't think it said all three, but just either their job, their relationship or home. The, uh, the figures come from the, uh, the uh, Office of National Statistics and it compiles weekly data on the social impact of COVID-19 um, across Britain. And, uh, and so they publish this and it says that um, something like 42% um, are looking at a change to work, 38% want to move on in a relationship and 35% um, are thinking about moving home. Uh, and there were other things um, about percentages. 47% said that the changes that they'd found in this time were quite positive. Um, and they were, they were taking more exercise, they were spending more time with family and they had a generally slower pace of life. And, and, um, and these were all things that they wanted to, to continue. Um, it doesn't take a genius to know that, uh, that lockdown has brought change, um, a lot of change to the way that we, um, we live our lives. And because of that, it will bring a lot of change to, to the future and the way that we live our lives in the future. And that is certainly true of the church. Um, I don't normally flag up um, a Sunday service, but uh, tomorrow, um, in, in the sermon and the reflection, I'm, I'm focusing on, or we're focusing on a passage from Acts, Acts chapter 2, and it's verses 42 to 47, if you want to have a wee look at it before. And it's one of my desert island um, passages, one of my desert island uh, selections of verses from Scripture. It's one of those verses that I would want to have with me, no matter what. Um, and that uh, if I could only have a sections of the Bible, little snippets of the Bible, it would be one of them. And it's, it's always been there. Sometimes new ones come along, but there are certain ones that are core. And, uh, and that's a core passage. It's a little snapshot of, of the church, um, the early church. Um, and in the sermon, what I'm, I'm basically asking us to think about is if we are being challenged by this time, uh, to, well, the expression I use is press reset on our lives. I think that's maybe what these statistics are saying. People are realising that they, they want to change their living in a way. Um, and some of that will be positive, some of it might not be. Um, but they're, they're realising that something needs to change. I think particularly that idea that people want to spend more time with their family, take more exercise, slow down the pace of life. Well, I'm wondering if the church is facing a challenge as well, if we're being asked to look at the way we're doing things and wonder if we need to be pressing reset as well. I'm not the first person to ask that question at the moment or at any, any time. But uh, it's an interesting thought this time, how it, it challenges us to look at the way we, we live and we work and in the church's context and the way that we function as a church and I don't mean just on a national level, I mean on a local level as well, and, and ask ourselves some pretty challenging questions. So, there you are. That lets you know what's coming up tomorrow. But for Saturday, I hope you have a good Saturday. Uh, I hope this clears. I really do hope this clears. 
um, because it's a bit bleak at the moment, but I hope you have a good Saturday. Take care and, and sorry for pushing on at length this morning. I've taken up a bit more time with you than I meant to, but have a good day. God bless. Take care. Keep well.